a military police checkpoint. The cars can't pass without a valid COVID vaccination certificate. The jab against the coronavirus is mandatory for all adults on the Comoros Islands. So I think we already had a lot of time for sensibilization. So now we are not forcing people, but we just, we just influence them to go and vaccinate. Critics of President Azali Asumani call his rule autocratic. He issued the vaccine mandate in December by presidential decree. If you forgot your vaccination card, you are allowed to ask a friend or family member to bring it here. Then it will be controlled. If you haven't been vaccinated, though, or you're late for your second jab, you will have to pay a fine and you will be brought directly to the vaccination center. In this case, they were brought to the military police hospital around the corner. 58 people were vaccinated the morning we filmed, whether they wanted the jab or not. Personally, I don't totally trust the vaccines. We shouldn't be forced to get vaccinated. Vaccination should be debated among the general public and the Comoros. We need to consent to be vaccinated and not be forced like this, like animals, like sheep or cows. We're human beings. We have rights. In the country's biggest hospital, Dr. Ibrahim Jabir defended the strict measures. He is one of the coordinators of the national COVID campaign. It's a good idea to make vaccination obligatory. People aren't respecting COVID regulations like social distancing. Vaccinating people is the only way we can save lives. And this is proven by the statistics. Less than 40 COVID patients are currently hospitalized on the Comoros Islands, Dr. Jabir says. None of them are vaccinated. The country is using China's Sinopharm vaccination in its nationwide campaign. Several studies suggest two doses of the vaccine are less effective against the Omicron variant. Dr. Jabir rejects the idea. That's not true. There is proof. So there is no point arguing about it. We had more than 3,000 positive cases around the country during the last wave, with less than 10 deaths. Back at the checkpoint, the majority of those passing through have had their jabs. It is virtually impossible to do anything on the Comoros Islands otherwise. A COVID vaccination certificate is needed to enter banks, schools and government buildings and even to take the bus.